Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm going to create a series of uh, video blogs, posts and uh, no, videos, tutorials for different different kind of technologies and different kind of solutions. Uh, here, uh, this is the first in series that I'm going to talk about uh, real-time data integration uh, using various latest technologies available right now as open source technologies. So this is the first uh, in series which we'll will be talking today only you know, briefly about the solution architecture that we are going to create, the advantages of the real-time data integration, and then also talking about the different technologies that we are going to use in this particular solution architecture. My aim is uh, so I mean I know there are a lot of uh, block posts or a lot of YouTube videos available right now on real-time data integration using different different technologies. Uh, my aim and my purpose is whatever I have experienced in my uh, my experience on this this particular solution when I was creating this and whatever issues I have faced I'm going to talk about those issues. I'm going to step by step uh, take you through the whole solution uh, creation of the whole solution. So uh, that's my purpose um, and uh, the, the first uh, series uh, of this, uh, I mean the first video of this series we are talking about uh, what is real time data integrations, what is the solution architecture that we are going to create, what are the different technologies we are going to use and a brief about those technologies. Uh, so first of all coming to real-time data integration um, if you look at the traditional data warehouse solutions uh, where we are uh, writing a lot of ETLs on your source database uh, you no know, extracting transforming and loading the data into data warehouse or data data marts and then making that data available to different different analytic systems there the thing was you no know, you kind of um, loading the data using ETL probably every 10 minutes or maybe a day or probably you know, sometimes a half day kind of a schedule and there were a lot of consequences to that kind of solutions. Uh, there are right now a lot of solutions uh, today as well being used by different enterprises uh, but which probably are trying to move on to this kind of real-time data pipeline or real-time data integration. So advantage of you no know, talking about real time data integrations are really like uh, your load of the the, the data like you no know, the processing of your uh, data is actually uh, spread across uh, as and when the transaction occurs the real time data integration actually uh, hooks up a solution wherein as soon as the data is created it is moved into your analytic system. Uh, the advantage of real-time processing also increases your access to data as soon as uh, the data is created in the, the source system it is available to take decision. So as soon as something happens you have the knowledge of, 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 the, of the things happening in your business. Other advantages like you can you know, take faster decisions uh, uh, you don't have to kind of think about let's say there is a 24 by 7 operating company and a lot of data being created it becomes very difficult in my experience to kind of you know, decide on a uh, data load window for, for my data warehouse or for my analytic systems uh, in real time data integration really really don't have to worry about that there are no batch windows that you need to be thinking about uh, you know it is an optimized en environment where you are taking advantage of the opportunity to make more optimum use of the powerful data warehouse and data mart by running transformations in the database rather than in a separate uh, runtime uh, kind of environment. So having uh, talked about the advantages of real-time data integration, let's look at what kind of uh, architecture and what kind of technologies that we are talking about uh, while creating this solution um, in our series. So this is the typical architecture that I am going to I am going to talk about. This is typical solution that I am going to create. At the source, we have MySQL uh, source database. And um, bin log is something called as a transaction log, uh, which is a binary log uh, in MySQL. So a lot of RDBMS, uh, if you uh, if you know a lot of RDBMS technologies that probably make available of transaction logs to 
you and uh, you know one of them for my sql uh, source database is something called as a binary log uh, so we are talking about actually who come hooking up into the binary log of my sql using something called as a debezium my sql connector that will push the data from as and when it is created in your binary log or in your log uh, from my sql to the kafka topics and in the the kafka topics you know will uh, write a mechanism uh, will will write a consumer where uh, will read the data from uh, this kafka topics and will be pushing it into something called as uh, amazon web services s3 bucket that will be available as kind of json files and then there is a data warehouse uh, called a cloud data warehouse called snowflake data warehouse where we will be uh, kind of uh, you know pushing that data into data warehouse directly so this is the solution that we are going to be uh, talking about and this is the solution we are going to be creating in the future <coughs> series of uh, videos so let's briefly talk about all those technologies uh, we have in the solution uh mysql uh, rdbms it's it's an open uh, source database that probably most of us uh, have kind of known about it or it's kind of any other rdbms available in the market like um, sql server but it's a paid uh, mysql is open source and it's a freely available under uh, gpl license debezium is something uh, very new Uh, in the market, it's again um, open source. You can use that um, uh, in your uh, solution. It's an open source uh, kind of a distributed uh, distributed platform uh, for change data capture kind of scenarios. It is actually you know it's it's probably the most uh, starting point um, in our uh, solution. Uh, it can actually uh, when you have a debezium kind of a connector or when you have debezium kind of a platform it actually what uh, how it can be used is actually you know starts actually responding to the inserts updates and deletes uh, that are actually being done on your database from your application or whatever it's a very you no know, durable uh, kind of a system it's very fast and uh, it it responds very quickly and uh, it guarantees that it won't kind of miss any event um, and and so when you like things go wrong for example your sql database or my sql database is down or something happens it crashes or something like that it guarantee guarantees that even those kind of you no know, uh, scenarios it won't uh, miss an event happen on your uh, source database kafka is pretty much popular by now i mean it's it's kind of uh, came up uh, during the big data evolution Kafka is a uh, distributed streaming platform that is the core of modern enterprise architectures. Uh, it provides different connectors uh, to connect to different databases and different systems. Um, it's kind of a, uh, you know provides it based on something called as a Kafka Connect framework to extract data from different sources, and it also provides a lot of streams APIs uh, that performs a lot of complex transformations. and analysis from within the core applications and you no know, there are i mean we are seeing here right now it connecting to one of the source databases like mysql but there are plenty of different connectors available in the kafka system um, or the kafka streaming technology and you can use pretty much any of the, any of them um aws s3 bucket is uh, pretty much everybody is familiar with if if not um, i can post some links to this sw A AWS S3 bucket, what it is and how to use and use it and things like that. It's pretty much kind of a data storage solution from uh, Amazon Web Services. Snowflake is a you no know, very recent uh, invention or a recent cloud data warehouse. Uh, what I probably would talk about it. It is actually uh, the the first uh, software as a service kind of uh, data warehouse solution built. um it it's built for speed it's um, uh, it it works with the most intense workloads it it has patented architecture which kind of you no know, separates your compute and the storage load it actually uh, gives you uh, you know better performance and it gives exactly what you need actually 
it uh, it has actually you know fully columnar databases uh, database uh, if you you have heard of those kind of different um, database uh, modeling kind of technologies available being one being columnar or document data store or graph data store and things like that so uh, snowflake uses uh, one of them like you no know, columnar database which is you know very fast in processing your data so it actually um, kind of uh, you know works for a lot of demanding kind of analytic works uh, workloads it actually uh, you know um, ensures that you know it, it queries automatically and get the best performance possible um, you don't need any indexes distribution keys no maintenance needed no management needed and things like that so it's a it's a pretty cool solution in data warehouse space in in cloud um, provided a software as a service so these are all the technologies and um, uh, we are going to use in our solution um, and you uh, know uh, please wait and watch for the next uh, in line coming in couple of days that will actually start uh, where we'll start building our solution using those technologies for real time data integration thanks for now uh, bye and uh, if you like this video please hit like and uh, subscribe to my channel thank you so much